Okay, so um, let's have a look at simplifying fractions. Um, and we sort of have to relate to some of the things that we have discussed in previous units. Highest common factor. Now, in order to simplify a fraction, we need to use the highest common factor. So in this case, here, two divided by four. Denominator. So this and denominator. We find the factors of each of these. We find out what the highest common factor is, and from there we can then divide by the highest common factor to then simplify this into its simplest expression. So the simplest expression, meaning in this case quite obvious that um, a half is the simplest. We've reduced this fraction as far as it can go. We can't reduce it any further. So um, how do we do that? Well, we find the factors of the numerator and the factors of the denominator. And the highest common factor in this case is 2. So if we times the top by 2, and divide the bottom by 2, the highest common factor, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 1 divided by 2. So this is now simplified. Let's have a look at 35. Let's just, uh, when you're doing these, please do the, um, the factors of the numerator above, the factors of the numerator and the denominator below. So the factors of 35 are 1, 35, 2 doesn't go into 35, 3 doesn't, 4 doesn't, 5 does. And 5 goes in. And there's no number between 5 and 7. So there are our factors of 35. Let's do our factors of 40. We've got 1, so we can more of those. We've got 40 on the end. 2 times 20 is 40. 3 doesn't go in. 4 does. 4 does times 10. 5, five goes in 8 times. So we've actually got a fair few more factors there. Now, the factors, which is the highest common factor? Well, the highest common factor, D, is going to be 5. So we've got 5 is our highest common factor. So now we can find the highest common factor and then divide the numerator and denominator by 5. So we just go ahead and do that. We divide through by 5. And if you have found the highest common factor, then we know that once we divide through by there, we now have the fraction in a simple. Let's do another one. 10 and 16, well, the factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. And the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. What's the highest common factor here? Well, the highest common factor here is 2. So, therefore, we have to do Divide by 2, divide by 2, which then gives us 5 over 8. And we know that if we found the highest common factor, then that is its fraction in its simplest form. We'll do one more for uh, 8 over 36. We've got uh, 1, 2, 4, and 8 are the factors of 8. For 36, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, uh, 12, 18, and 36. What's the highest common factor? The highest common factor is 4. So therefore we need to divide the numerator by 4, and we need to divide the de denominator by 4. Now, it doesn't matter if you were to pick, say, let's just say if we pick 2 as the common factor, it wouldn't really matter because once you get there, you could then, um, you probably realise that you could simplify it a bit further. So in this case, we've divided by 4, so we've got 2 over 9. Now, if we divide it by 2, we would get 
4 over 18, and then from there we could find the factors of 4 and 18. It would probably be a bit more obvious. The 2 is a factor of those, so you, you could then divide each by 2 again, and you would still come to the same answer, being 2 over 9. So, um, so there's some examples. I'd like you to go ahead and do those. So first of all, just to recap, um, you need to, to simplify fractions, one, you need to find the highest common factor. Secondly, you have to then divide by the highest common factor. And then you have the fraction in its simplest form. So you've then simplified the fraction. So go ahead and um, complete these other ones here. It's the same process. Um, a number of times, you'll just need to actually practice a few of these before you're feeling comfortable with it.